and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica J and this is Jessica J Create where I create and share with the hopes of inspiring and connecting with you. In today's video, we're going to be going over the dress I would have worn if I had enough courage and confidence to the Barbie movie. It's going to be a pattern review of the dress that I have on now, Vogue 1884. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> if that's something you're interested in, come on and stick around and let's get into it. The pattern that I used to create this dress and the pattern that I will be reviewing today is Vogue 1884. This is a dress pattern that was released by Vogue with two views. The views are view A and B, but the main difference is that view A is color blocked and B is not. On my final garment, I actually ended up pattern mixing, so it's mixed and matched in a different way, but I thought that was really cool. So that's the pattern there. It does come in two size groupings, 6 to 14 and 14 to 22. I purchased the 14 to 22 because that's the size grouping that I am. Okay, and then it does call for, let's see, 2 and 7 eighths yard at the max of 60 inch fabric for dress A with the contrast being 7 eighths of a yard of 60 inch fabric. And dress B, it's three and one eighths yard of 60 inch fabric. So there we go. <laughs> For my dress here, I ended up going ahead to Hobby Lobby and purchasing this fabric last year when I actually made this dress. It was last year for a Alice in Wonderland themed event that my husband and I attended. This fabric was a cotton from Hobby Lobby. It's really nice. I thought the print was super cool and I loved how they played with each other and the colors. I am definitely a more is more type of person. <laughs> so all the busyness and the colors and the bees and the peaches, it really spoke to me. So I loved it. I did find that the pattern was really easy to sew in this material. I mean, I personally don't 100% follow fabric recommendations <laughs> on patterns. I like to have fun and sew with what I have and I more go for whether or not it's stiff or flexible or woven or knit. <laughs> but this fabric worked really well for me. I also fully lined the dress with a white polyester lining roll that I had from Facebook Marketplace a little while back, which is wonderful. And I personally added a nice little petticoat to the inside of my dress, which I do like. The only thing is laundering it becomes a little bit of an issue because that netting, it just gets all matted and weird. So I do sometimes have to dry clean this, which is kind of silly because it's cotton and poly and I should be able to wash it, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> So in this pattern, I cut an 18 at the top all the way down to the waist and then I graded from an 18 all the way to the larger size, which I believe was 22 for the skirt because I wanted maximum fullness and the really only fitted part is the upper bodice. So that worked out for me. And then as far as notions go for this pattern, I just simply used a zipper as well as a hook and eye for the top. I did not like that I chose an invisible zipper for this. I don't like invisible zippers in general. They just, when you get over those bulky parts, it just doesn't feel as secure as I would want it to. But that is what the pattern called for, so that is what I used. But in the future, if I was to make this again, I would definitely do just a normal lapped zipper construction in the back. I know it's not as invisible, but it just feels more sturdy. <laughs> Another alteration that I wish I could have made to this pattern is just removing a tiny bit of the, I don't know, fullness here, if that makes sense. My bust tends to be not very rounded out on the sides, it's just more in the front. So in the big five patterns, I've learned now, but I made this last year, that I need to just take out about an inch little triangle dart here on most of the patterns. That's something I would definitely change. Other than that, I really love this pattern. It has the twirl appeal. It's really fun to sew, really easy to sew. Well, I'm not gonna say really easy to sew because if you're a new sewist, it may be a bit funky and difficult in some places, but for me, it was pretty easy to sew, pretty therapeutic. Like I said, main things I didn't like where the zipper, invisible zippers in general, I just don't like them. <laughs> I 
I did omit the pockets from this as well. I omit the pockets in pretty much everything I make, especially if it's a dress. Every once in a while, you'll find pockets in one of my skirts, but in general, I don't like pockets in my clothing. It just adds bulk, and then they get all weird and foldy, and I know there's ways to get around that if you really love pockets, but I don't, so I didn't put them in there. Initially, when I was planning to go see the Barbie movie, I really wanted to wear this dress, but as I talked about in my last video, I find it really difficult to wear things that I've made, especially in a situation like that. Like, I have worn this dress, but I wore it to an Alice in Wonderland event, like where you're very much expected to look a little kooky and a little fun. So I really wanted to wear this dress and I really felt like it matched the vibe I was getting from a lot of the promotional information, the photos, the videos, the classic pink gingham dress that everyone was making. So I already had this one in my closet and I'm like, I'll just wear that, be an outfit repeater, it's fine. <laughs> and not have to make something new. I did not wear it, unfortunately, but I still love the dress and I wish I had and I'm working on it. <laughs> working on it but the movie was really great if you went and saw it I loved it I'm a Barbie girl through and through I mean I played Barbies with my sister for well after most people stopped playing with Barbies <laughs> admittedly admittedly I just I love the imaginative play and a bit of the escapism was really something that spoke to me when I was younger so I really enjoyed watching the movie and the interpretation that they took and the messaging and the styling and I just I had a ball. I did go with my little sister and we did have fun even though we didn't really dress up or anything and it was a really wonderful experience. So if you haven't seen the movie yet I would definitely recommend you go see it. Thank you so much for sticking around here with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye!